Here we have two skew lines. We have plan and elevation. Here's our plan, here's our elevation. As you can see, these two lines do not meet. To prove this, you find where they intersect, which is here, and you drop that down to your plan. And if that's where they're intersecting in plan, they're intersecting. But it's not, it's down here, so these two lines are not touching. We need to find a view that contains these two lines and both lines are parallel to each other. So the definition of skew lines is two lines are called skew lines if they are neither parallel nor intersecting. So these two lines aren't parallel at the minute and they're not intersecting. So the first step is we're going to try to get these two lines to become parallel. To do this we need to find a plane that is parallel to the other line. So one part of the plane is parallel to the other line. To do this, we draw a line parallel to DC from B, like shown. Okay, that line here, this green line, is parallel to CD. To finish this plane, we're going to draw a level line from A, bring it across, and that's our plane. A, B, and we can call this so. To f this plane is contains parallel parts to line C, D. Now, to finish this, we're going to bring this down to our plan and try to find the true length of our line A, O. So we're going to draw a line in our plan that's parallel again to C, D because if it's parallel in elevation and plan, it's truly parallel. Gonna draw a line parallel to DC CD from B. Drop O down to here, and we're gonna join this point back to A, and that's a true length. To get an edge view of this plane, we have to look down our true length, like we've done in previous questions. So look down our true length and bring all the points parallel to this. Find our x1 y1 line and now find a b c d for some of you who don't understand where I got these heights we go we're working here this is back one this is back two and we use the x y line in between one and two and use the heights from this x y line to number two so from b we go from the x y line to b it's a short distance and the XY line to A is a larger distance. See here. So there's A, B, and C, D. That's the fourth step in solving our skew lines question.